Hello, hello and welcome back to Leaky Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. Today we have 1950s power plant, water treatment plant and small railroad distribution. Office. Distribution office. Right, so again, this gamer in the last... Uh, seven days there was around 40-ish new mods that were released so there's a lot of beautiful mods this is just some of them eight of them that i selected so please go and check out all of the mods in the steam workshop you're gonna find something for yourself we're closing into 6,000 mods at this time so first things first we have chocolate tractor and tiny train distribution office it's a very small distribution office with realistic rails connection can be used uh, at a compact industrial areas to provide flexible logistics tinier than vanilla coverage storage covered storage um, it is only locomotive has only one locomotive slot and 20 uh, tons of fuel storage uh, train linked up to 145 meters note there is only one railway to connect uh, and not easy to use with a lot of transit trains right so uh, this is an interesting one uh, this is something that i was always like oh, these distribution railroad distribution office are just way way too big um, we need something smaller when i started using the train distribution i was like these are tiny, we need more, we need more locomotives. Now, if you really want something smaller, there we go. We have something smaller, Chocolate Tractor uh, actually made something for us. So let's let's populate this real quickly. Let's see how many uh, wagons we can put in here real quickly. We're gonna go for uh, some of the dumper trucks, a little bit of oil tankers. We have box cars and that's it. This is how many of them we can put in, that's 11. It's more or less for a small industrial area and that's it if you want to supply it one locomotive and uh, you know let it play a uh, really really beautiful mod i think i saw this house before in one of the railroad construction offices not sure if it's from the same modder but it's a really really beautiful building i really like it anyway something that potentially you'll see in my let's plays water filtration plant by mr novu purify water without chemicals using osmo osmosis filters and sand slash gravel employs 10 workers requires game version uh, 0.8.7.x uh, added larger version right so we have uh, this is mr novo of course he's uh, he, he has a lot of a lot of amazing mods um he created this water purification system i did a little bit of research about this i'm still into new into this water uh, distribution thing but uh, these buildings are as pre as always beautiful uh so we have a uh, one with the outside pool and one without so they are smaller and bigger version we're gonna go and check them all out but let's see first the details of course classic mr novo there's a lot of a lot of beautiful details here what about here yeah yeah absolutely really really nice i like the bigger version uh, more because of the outside pool and uh, you have all the liquidity of the water like you do in the in the game now what about the price of this what about the price of this so we have the distribution office water tr sorry <laughs> water treatment plant small and big you can see the small water treatment plant uh, vanilla one has 60 cubic meters of uh, water uh, maximum production per workday and maximum amount of toxic liquids to be eliminated 6.5 cubic meters of wastewater um, it, it has electricity consumption and it has chemical consumption okay uh, right above that we have the small version of the water filtration plant that has uh, more wastewater to be treated uh, and every and does not require chemicals so we have uh, 60 uh, 60 cubic meters of water is maximum production per workday maximum amount of toxic liquids to be eliminated is 13 cubic meters compared to 6.5 of vanilla so you have double the amount of wastewater produced and does require gravel in order to filter uh, to filter this water so heads up on that price is more or less the same i think as always this is a genius way or different approach to the to resolve the same problem and big thumbs up from me uh, is it cheaty i don't think so reverse osmosis is a thing i use that anyway the second thing we have the bigger one of water driven plant is 36,700 rubles it is a little bit uh, more expensive than uh, than the robs mr oh, sorry mr novus one uh, it is a little bit more expensive and capacity is a little bit bigger so uh, with this one you require a little bit more gravel than the smaller one it's 0.6 tons you do create 16 cubic meters of wastewater and you get 
132 cubic meters of water, which is less than vanilla one, but produces more waste. So heads up on that. I think it's quite realistic and something that I will definitely use in my let's plays. Anyway, link in the description of the video. Mr. Robs 074 and bus end stations. Bus end stations, including one with two parking uh, spaces and one with four parking spaces. Both buses and trolley buses can use them for stations with trolley buses of wires subscribe to the building skin mod listed uh, uh, as dependency for version 0.8.7.3 or newer only and there's a description in polish as well of course this is classic mr robs finally mr robs is back i did install both uh, skins for both of these mods so we're gonna check them both out uh, there's only link to the stations itself uh, in order when you subscribe to the stations you're gonna be asked to subscribe for the um, skins as well i suggest you so you do so this will gonna give this is gonna give you the skin color of the building change this actually adds the visibly visible lines overhead and we have the smaller station over here and of course with uh, with the uh, overhead cables this is something that i was waiting for uh this is something that i needed in in this in the bus system the end stations it's always complicated you know to plan your bus system but anyway you can watch our let's plays and uh, there's more details there we're not gonna dwell over that now um how, how much they cost compared to vanilla mr robs always makes them a little bit more pricier we'll see if this is the case as well so as you can see here we have vanilla five hundred and one thousand five hundred so it's not really high bar that we need to pass but uh, let's check it anyway so we have uh, these Rob mr robs's bus stops unfortunately i don't think these are the end station bus stops we can always go to our mods and go all the way to the end or we can go for platform station and let's see if we can find them over here And here we go, for some reason they're not showing in the platform stations, but we can see them here. Bus and stations 5,500 is the smiller one and the bigger one is 7,500 compared to the uh, vanilla stations. It's We, we can compare it 7,500, 5,500. If we go for bus stops here, we have a bus stop. This is a normal bus stop. Oh, right, the, the bus, bus platforms. They're a little bit bigger bus platforms itself. Well, the, the, the bigger one is a little bit more expensive, but bus stops nah, meh uh, not so much but anyway quite realistic and of course big thumbs up for me Novoli Piki Pack 1 1950s by Utland pack contains five residential buildings power substation two walls and one gate hole in one team uh, right mm, Utland released a lot of mods in the last seven days so go and check all of them out so you have a lot of a lot of different mods from kindergartens and so on and so on i will skip this i will skip this i will just show you the buildings that i selected here um right so these are lipiki buildings novel lipiki uh pack of buildings. Uh, is that part of the city novel lipiki my bad i didn't do research on this but anyway you can make the whole neighborhood as you can see here you have three different kinds of walls and I'm oh, sorry, two kind of kinds of walls and you have gates and you have, of course, substation over here. You can see it has only one connection to it. That's unfortunate because usually um, if you go for underground cables, then they can transfer a lot of electricity. So these substations, um, I think it's really good for them to have multiple options for multiple cables to be connected to uh, uh, individual substation. But hey, ho personal opinion regarding the buildings well this is this is interesting they have a little bit high capacity i'm gonna show you all the buildings and uh, i'm gonna make this uh, be your thing if you want to decide i think the models are really really beautiful but capacities are over 200 people for each one of those buildings so <clears throat> in order to have 200 people capacity you need to have 100 apartments in this building does this building have 100 apartments um let's calculate each one of them let's go for the bigger building just to have um benefit benefit of a doubt let's say that they have five floors you can see the ground floor and five floors so we have 100 apartments five floors that means 20 apartments per floor so uh and then we have two sides of the building so <clears throat> do we have 20 apartments on this floor that would be 10 apartments on this side well we have nine balconies now do they belong to the same apartment i don't know uh let's see if we take to, into account that these middle ones with the windows that they are one apartment that has two balconies and then this middle one could be a uh, middle one middle balcony can be a single apartment and then this can be one so we have one two 
three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven, that's not ten. So we are, even if we're being generous, even if we have a small studio apartment in each one of them, we get seven apartments. I think it's a little bit too high capacity of these buildings, uh, personally. Uh, I think they're beautiful models. If we could twitch the capacity of these buildings, I think it would be much, much nicer. And I think this is a staircase windows. Maybe it's not even a residential apartment over here. But anyway, uh, maybe we can have only studio apartments, then we can squeeze in that many people, but it's not comfortable living, which uh, in this case is, well, it's not really 74%, 74%. Anyway, I think uh, Utland makes a really beautiful mods. Uh, regarding the capacity, I think they're a little bit too large. Um, regarding the price of these apartments since they're on the large side can we find them over here or we're gonna have to jump into mods let's jump into a mod section we're already back in the end so we can see the price of apartments i know <laughs> from experience that these apartments from vanilla they don't cost twenty thousand. i think none of them cost twenty thousand. but here we have the cheapest ones are uh, 19,000, I think I saw something a little bit cheaper, but we have substation here, 3,000 as well. So they are uh, more expensive than vanilla ones, so heads up on that. Uh, but capacity is also really, really huge. Really beautiful models. If you want to use them, you have a link in the description of the video. Here's a thing of a beauty. Big coal power plant for 1950s by Marius. Massive coal power plant which produces 167 megawatt historical data, employing 80 workers and 20 engineers it provides 11 uh, high volt, uh, heavy, high voltage and four la uh, low voltage or I think it's medium voltage power connections. The plant comes with two railway connections which can be used to transport workers directly or sp or specially uh, or specially for the coal which will be stored in a huge internal storage of 2500 tons. That's a little bit big storage but we're gonna check this out. Uh, not, um, not needing therefore external storage is helping with the delivery there are five non-blocking vehicle uh, stations which can be used simultaneously with two road connections uh, forming one-way road inside the building which is mandatory right there's a lot of details of this i will not uh, go and read that there's a little story as well um based on approximately on a power plant built in north spain in the late 40s uh compostilla compostilla Compostilla, what well, Compostilla one, uh, which used local coal uh, to feed eight boilers uh, for three turbo generators of American production in 1957, were added the last three boilers, which were so huge that they just didn't fit in original buildings. So, um, so the roof roof was broken to make room for the. Anyway. I'm going to leave this because there's an ending to this story. I'm going to leave this for you to go and uh, the read about this. But I'm going to tell you that this is absolutely magnificent mod. It's beautiful, beautiful building. Uh, I think I'm going to be using this in my early early gameplays. So definitely going to see something like this in my let's plays. Okay, what about the internal storage? Okay, this is a little bit on a big side, I have to say. Uh, let's try to see how it's going to look like with uh, coal. Okay, so coal, uh, this is the storage for coal 2500 tons um, of coal can be stored over here okay so how does that compare to any of external storages so if we go to storage section actually we're gonna have to go for uh, for this section we have similar large aggregate storage this is kind of similar size large aggregate storage that has 2000 ton capacity so i wouldn't go overboard saying that is unrealistically large but um, definitely something that uh, to be considered so i think internal storage is not too large i think it's realistic but what about the price of the building so if we go to the power plant section and here we have a big coal power plant 1950 647,000 647,000 rubles compared to vanilla it's uh, three times more expensive and two plus something times more expensive but it does produce uh, five six seven times more electricity well six to seven times more electricity it produces what about efficiency uh, 175 tons of coal per day uh, well this one has 24 ooh that's a lot 
that's all that's seven times more coal more than seven times more coal uh, consumption per day uh, and water 20 cubic meters of water while vanilla one doesn't have any water requirements that's strange but anyway anyway uh realistic quite realistic big thumbs up from me you're gonna see this in my let's plays prefab amurski quarter by gorbachev a residential complex amurski quarter three residential buildings 24 13 and 11 floors high um they have 198 104 and 88 apartments respectively um created through the standard building editor using text prefab apartment from the three division i draw the attention uh, to the fact that uh for the correct display it's necessary to subscribe to dependency right i missed the i probably am i uh, prefab apartment the elements i i am subscribed to that you have a link to that uh, in the mode i'm reading this from there right now uh right so what about the uh capacities uh, capacities 88 apartments 176 yeah this is this is perfect but uh, does it have this much we're gonna go and count that uh i love the white color i like like i like the clean color and gray um, and gray balconies it for me it's it's not minimalism but i like it it looks so clean uh, i i really really like that you're gonna see this in my let's plays definitely but actually let's not jump the gun here because we're gonna check the capacities so let's say this one has uh it's written that it has 88 apartments it does have 11 floors that means it has uh eight apartments per floor so eight apartments for four each side i think this is quite realistic uh so four apartments so we have half of the building here even though i don't think this is the staircase i think staircase is internal in the lift shaft so these are all apartments so i think you can fit here uh two apartments on each side four apartments here four apartments on the other side and you would have eight apartments per floor 11 floors high so i think that's quite realistic what about this one here what about the big one the big one has uh, 24 floors and it has 198 apartments that would be uh, again eight apartments per floor uh would is that realistic i think it is this is much thicker building yeah yeah the, 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 no i'm not even gonna question this i think well i don't think i should if you guys think that this is a huge capacity it does have 400 people capacity um i love it i love these mods you're gonna definitely see them in my let's plays now link in the oh no 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 let's uh, compare the prices so uh we have something similar with the big one so let's see if i can find a more quarter over here no, we're gonna go for a mods because we have leaky has too many mods installed 22,000 40,000 56 so i think the small one can be compared to the biggest one bi biggest building in game this is 176 people capacity 99 percent quality they're absolutely beautiful i don't doubt 99 percent i don't doubt 99 percent quality at all uh, they all have 99 percent quality and then we have uh vanilla one uh vanilla one 17,000. so it's more expensive than vanilla one and it has a little bit bigger capacity um, they have the same is it the same capacity uh, yeah, no, the, the vanilla has a little bit bigger capacity, so vanilla is cheaty. No, I'm, I'm kidding, of course. So, definitely, big thumbs up in my book, and you're gonna see these mods in my Let's Plays. House of, of the Communist Party by Raytheon. Greetings, the mod contains House of Communist Party building of the Central Committee of PUWP from Warsaw, Poland. Architects, they're listed there, I'm not gonna butcher their names. Years of construction, 47 to 51. A notable feature is building is... Uh, through courtyard with a fountain yada 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 build, building description how many workers okay right so we have uh it works as a university it and it requires 120 workers 60 workers with higher education maximum capacity 600 people absolutely beautiful you're gonna see this with the flag definitely uh being a big polish fan uh, more detailed description of the building a massive building of the central committee uh how did it end uh, let's go all the way to the end in 2009 the last the sentence in 2009 the building was put up for auction now the building houses bars restaurants and cafes if someone knows the details of what is now with this building write in the comments Ooh, comments i'm gonna i'm gonna go nice okay no I, I'll, I'll find out what it is i'll if my next trip to poland i'm definitely gonna look this building up right so uh, what is it it's a university University. it has as we read the capacity it requires 120 workers and 60 college educated workers of course uh all it and it has 600 um people capacity right um 
how does it compare to the vanilla buildings now i'm gonna say raytheon always 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 builds buildings that are way they're lavish they're like beautiful and they're always expensive uh i don't i i'm gonna go guess here i'm gonna say four times more than vanilla one. Ooh, wait 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 i don't build enough vanilla ones let's see how much one uh, doesn't matter i say i don't know i forgot what i want to say um 200,000. Uh, I will say that it's twice the price. This is this is the size of the building. This is one, the size of one building and the other. I think the vanilla building is way, way bigger than Raytheon's, but I'm still going to say that Raytheon's one is going to be more expensive. So let's see if I'm correct here. Headquarters of the Communist Party. We have... No, they're actually the same price. They're the same price, which is still big thumbs up in my book because I expected this to be um, uh, big because it's a much smaller building. Uh, what about uh, popul yeah, yeah. even even the vanilla one has bigger capacity, so it's not cheaty with capacity, it's not cheaty with price. It is size wise, I think it's more expensive than the vanilla one, just because it occupies such a big space. The vanilla building compared to to this building, no, definitely thumbs up. Link in the description of the video for more details. I give you Novo Mechta Soviet Socialist Republic and CCP by Weisbrot. Weisbrot, uh, I believe, uh, if my German is right, that's white bread. Weisbrot uh, made this. Uh, it's, uh, made this mod. Actually, I found the original map, and I, I because he mentioned there. Oh, sorry, he uh, because it was Weisbrot mentioned that today it's unpopulated, so I expected populated map. It is. This one is populated, but slightly disappointing because there's only one town. But anyway, and also there's one thing about this map. I think it's upside down. I might be something wrong with me but we'll, we'll check this out anyway uh, the features of the map it has rolling hills on one side it has uh, big mountains on the other side and canyons as you can see here now these canyons are full of resources they're they're quite decent they're realistic well we'll see um the one feature of this map that actually makes me really really happy is the double uh border crossings this is really really realistic why because this is how border crossings actually are so i'm really happy that uh, that it was included in this that this is the first time i see anybody doing this but this is a small detail that actually makes uh, all the leaky happy uh you can say you can see that we have the same over here and all the border crossings are the same all the border crossings have two uh, different connections. Now, did I miss or do we have electricity hoses connection? Uh, yeah, we do. We have several electricity uh, connections. Now, we have, again, connections on both sides. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Why is this uh, connected over here? with small ones so this needs to be upgraded to bigger ones because obviously you cannot buy electricity here you have to click on this one and then you can import a lot but i don't know if you're gonna have a lot over here because this one yeah it doesn't show we need, we need to consume electricity in order to see this but anyway uh i'm not sure if you can uh, re you, these these are small electricity cables so it, it's I, I would want to upgrade that uh, right, that's it. Uh, this is a small detail that actually, you know, makes me happy. So, uh, big thumbs up. Oh, this is also nice. This is really, really nice. We have here bigger electricity hoses. Right, um, uh, and w w yeah, you have a big river in the middle. I forgot to mention that. Now, the populated version has a little bit two small villages that are next to useless, but they're there. They have two harbors on each side of the river, or is it each side of the river? Let's check the map. So, yes, on the each side of the river, there, uh, there are small there are small harbors that you can use and of course we have a central uh, city over here we're gonna go and check it out um actually you know what let's check out the city oh my pardon me uh, we have two additional uh two additional harbors so we have six harbors all together uh, that's Molna and Chomusek are where the only city, proper city, proper town is in the middle of the map. So this is the map as you can see it here, but I think the map is upside down, at least at least how it was presented um, on the map uh, in the Steam Workshop. Right, so South Rolling Hills, uh, they're actually north on this side. Rolling Hills are north. It's just the, I think the map is just upside down, but that's it. Maybe I'm missing something, maybe I did something wrong. But anyway, resources. 
Yes, so resources, like I said, the mountains are full of resources and they are qu quite dense. You're not going to have any problems with resources. I think I like more when they're, you know, like uh, they're not 100% quality because all of these like are more or less 100% quality. It would be a little bit better and a little bit more ch uh, challenging if we had um, if we had less less quality of resource not really not even less resource because you can definitely have uh, coal rich areas of your country so you know you can have a lot of coal but anyway uh but everything is looks like it's around 100 percent or at least it's 100 percent quality all of these resources so you have bauxite you have uranium you have oil in the north and then you have iron and coal in the mountains in the south yeah it's a really really beautiful map it's something that uh, interests me i might do let's plays on this one but i'm promising nothing uh, it has big river in the middle that is fully navigable and I think even canals are navigable as well where are you where are you here we go yeah these canals are actually definitely navigable they are huge right that's it uh, my favorite map this month Monday so go and check it out now guys if you enjoy this video don't forget to press like button if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section let me know what you think like subscribe notification bell ring it comment section hit it and if you want to support the channel you have the description of the video uh happy monday guys and i'm gonna see you in the next bye bye